Hello everyone, welcome to A Foreigner Farming in the Philippines. It's lunchtime, so Kossing has gone home, and I'm, wa I'm wanting to keep a close eye on this sow down here that's getting pretty close. Uh, we've got visitors today. Uh, what are you doing? Andre and Beth are here. Uh, visiting us and we're going to go around and look at some property later today. I'm just checking to see how things are going here. What is all this? Something broken again? Well, I, oh, this is from the... There was a big sow in here that broke this gate down and this is the rebuild. We've moved this little, this little gilt in here. Yeah, they're pretty used to people, huh, aren't you? Yeah, you are. And they've just eaten, it's right after lunch, so they're pretty calm and content. What are you doing, darling, huh? What are you doing? Hmm? This is the gal here that's, how you doing honey? You're alright. This is the gal here that's due today. Huh, oh, aren't you? Yeah you are. Yes you are. You're due to have babies today, huh? Yeah. You sure are. And from the look of her, it's not going to happen today. How do you tell? Uh, the easiest way to tell is how their uh, bag fills up with milk. Oh, okay. Their, their teats underneath there. When they really get uh, firm and engorged, then they're pretty close. And uh, you can tell by their vagina. They'll get a bit swollen. Maybe some discharge. You're not ready yet, are you? Yeah, that's the wonderful thing about this piggery is there's no smell. Yeah, I'm amazed at this order. This is this is the pig here that broke that broke that gate down. She just doesn't like to be well she'll test every gate on every pen that we've ever put her in. And if she find one, finds one that's a little bit weak, she'll just break it down and <laughs> run around just because she can. Just for fun. Yeah, she's a knothead. When she was a little piglet, we got her when she was a tiny little piglet. And she could fit through, not in, not in this gate, but in one of the gates that have bars that are like this wide, she, she could fit through there and before we had the fence. And she would run up to the house and get into Marcel's flowers. And then Marcel would come out yelling at her and, and throwing sticks at her and she would run back down Now, you know, that's a pretty steep little path, right? And it's yeah. and, it's, and it's windy and She could she run faster than a dog and she would just fly down that path and you could almost hear the you could almost hear the tires screeching from her feet She would just fly down there and, and squeal and laugh and have a good time Yeah, you would so now you're pinned up and, uh, and now you're pinned up and she never did like being pinned, but... Is this one Mars? No. You know, I forget which one Mars is. Does she look similar? No, Mars is all white. What are you doing, huh? Are you, were you sleeping? Come here and see me. Come here. Come here. It is pretty soft, the, the rice balls. It's much more comfortable. I mean, would you like yeah. to lay in a concrete bed? I mean, it's more comfortable to them. You can see she was laying in the damper part, so she's keeping cool. Um, we, brought, we brought an air mattress from home so that we wouldn't have to lay on the concrete floor. So. There's so many more advan There's so many advantages to rice hull pins as opposed to uh, cement. Hi, Petunia. How are you, huh? 
What you thinking, Petunia? This is the famous Petunia here. How you doing? On? I'll get you a banana leaf. There you go. So these banana leaves just grow quick enough that you can keep tearing them off. Like Pretty much, yeah. They they grow quick. I someone I didn't know. Someone had told me that uh, bananas are in the grass family. Really? Yeah, who knows these things? I don't know. They may be right. If you ran up against one of these banana trees, you would just flatten it out, wouldn't you? They, they're, yeah. They're pretty spongy. Yeah, you could push one over pretty easily. The wind pushes them over pretty easy. Mm -hmm. But they're not, they're not intended to be permanent. When they have fruit, then they die. And then another shoot comes up behind it. And the nutritional value in the leaves? It's is almost nothing. nothing. <laughs> just a bit of water. Maybe. It's just, yeah, it's just... She's spoiled, they're all spoiled. But it's just something to something for her to munch on, something new. I mean they do have flavor. Mm -hmm. So it's a little something different, just to break up their day and Bit of a candy thing. and keep them happy. What else we got going on around here? We got these uh, little boards up there. Yeah, we've got all the sow boards complete. Yeah, this little pig here has a problem, I can tell by looking at her. She's off her feed. Yeah, I'm gonna move her I'm gonna move her when Ponsing gets back. I'm gonna have her moved out of this pen. In fact I need to give her a shot. Oh what what is it? You're okay. You're alright. She's just saying hi. <laughs> You're just saying howdy, aren't you? Yeah, you are. Yeah. Yeah. We're not going to play much on my arm, though. No, we're not going to play that game. They they're, they can be a bit intimidating. I mean... Did they ever snap at you? Um, I've had a... I, we had one sow we had to get rid of because, you know, usually I can handle any of these sows. Yeah. But this particular sow, when she had babies, it was just impossible. I mean, she wanted to eat you if you got in the pen with her. And uh, we were having to rope her piglets because they have to be, we have to trim their teeth, we have to trim their tails, the males have to be castrated. So, so we were we, we were having to use a pole with a string on it to capture the piglets by the neck because none of the, uh, I, after my second close call with her, I said, no, 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 no. It's, it's not worth it. Because, you know, I, I, I do my best to gentle them up and work with them so that they're used to, they're used to human contact. But if one of these animals really gets mad at you, uh, well, she can, her bite, I mean, you can't really, you know, open your mouth so he can see. Come on, open your mouth up. Come on. Let him see your teeth. Come on. All right, I'll give her a banana leaf. But there's none within range. Um, they do have teeth, not uh, uh, because they're sure. Yeah, just get a little piece of that. Yeah, that's good enough. Maybe I can get her to open up. Come here, darling. Up here. Come here. Come here. We'll, I don't have it. Here. Over here. Come here. Come here, not head. Hey. See this? Oh yeah, come on, over here. You're just going to be a knothead, aren't you? Come here. 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 Hey. Hey. Yeah, she'll come back over here in a minute. The What I was trying to say is that they do have teeth. Um, mostly more what you would consider a molar type, like what we have. They don't really have incisors. But, uh, so they do, if you can see, if I can get her to open her mouth, there you go. You can see there are teeth in there. Yeah, she's moving too fast. Uh, like an inch or so? Yeah, I mean, I mean, uh, yeah. Not very many. Not very many, but as similar to what a dog would have. But, uh, so yeah, you can see there's, you can see in there. Right. Maybe if you guys are watching the video, you can slow this down and and get a good look but uh, it's not just the teeth because some of her teeth are like this long right. like almost an inch 
but she has six times the bite force of a pit bull. Yeah, that's pretty, pretty scary. Yeah. What would that do to your bones? Uh, if she got, if she got my or your wrist in her mouth the right way, she could just snap it off. Right through. Um, I've seen pigs snap a two by four in half, one bite. Wow. So if they were really, really mad at you and really wanted to get you, they could do it easily. Mm -hmm. What they do in the wild, because they have they have problems with feral pigs in the states in the south, and when they when they grow up in the wild, pigs are really intelligent. They're smart as a dog, so they learn how to hunt. And in the wild, they can have their their tusks just like you know you saw in the movie yeah. The Lion King. Yeah. They can have tusks like that, you know, several inches long, and uh, they they'll come up behind you. Uh, yeah. Well, generally what happens is you see the pig and then you run because, you know, you have no chance, right? Well, they'll chase you and they come up behind you and they'll hamstring you with their tusks. That's how they hunt. And then when they get you, once they get you down, then you're, it's all, you're all done. But this is a very gentle girl. Yes, you are. You wouldn't hurt anybody, huh? But you have to handle them. You have to, they have to have interaction or else you, you, you can get a problem. Even if, even if they're not particularly trying to hurt you, weigh four four hundred pounds, and in a year they'll all weigh five hundred pounds because they keep growing. So even just messing around, you could get hurt. What what is up with you? Huh? What what is it? What is it? You're just a little baby. Yeah, you are. You like to talk, don't you? Yes, she does. What are you what are you so talkative about, huh? What? What is it? What? Huh? Would you you're like you're wanting a banana leaf too, huh? Yeah you are, I can tell. And I just don't yeah, maybe I can get this one here. <laughs> well, it wasn't a big problem before we put the fence in. I could just walk right, the, right. take two steps and there you go. I could just take two steps and get them all the banana leaves they wanted. Yeah, I've got to give her a shot. She's got pneumonia. Well, I don't know. Have a bit of a problem with that here. I have had a bit of a problem, and I'm starting to think that of all the pluses that the rice hulls offer, um, one of the downsides is the is the dampness that that never goes away. Right. And I think there it makes them more susceptible to lung problems. Like she's off her feed. Um, Pigs are called pigs because they eat a lot. They'll eat anything, and they eat a lot of it. So when they don't eat, um, like this one, then you, know you've got a then you know we've got a problem. And I can see by the way she's breathing, the the hard exhale. And not getting up. Yeah, the hard exhale. Yeah, she looks like she's laboring. To yeah, she's got a she's got a problem. So, and the uh, we've only of the four pigs that have had pneumonia here. Uh, we've only been able to save one of them, so we've lost three. So hopefully because she's young, I'm going to get her um, into a dry pen, a really dry pen. It seems a bit like it's one after the other here. Yeah, and it's all been in this area right in here uh, on this side of the pen. Here's some little ones here that uh, they're about 10 days old now. They're all camped out. They're full of milk and milk drunk and sleeping. Yeah, you want, you want me to scratch your head, don't you? Probably. <laughs> this is the last of the sick pen here. Um, they just not... We had a batch that had scours and they never recovered. That's quite the slope you've got here. Yeah, it doesn't it doesn't come up on video but Well, that's why you know, we build it on this slope on purpose cuz you know, we were thinking cement pins, water flows downhill so it'd be easy to clean them and it was re within reason but it was labor intensive to clean these cement pins. Your pneumonia problem is it happening further down? Yeah, just down, everywhere. No, down down, right down in this end. And uh, don't know why. I mean, the pins there aren't particularly 
damper than any of the rest. It's got the drainage here. Yeah. In fact, uh, we haven't had any cases in the wettest pens. Because some of these pens, they'll play in the water roots and make their pens really saturated with water. We haven't had any of those pig get sick. It's only the intermediate. So, I don't know. We'll get it, we'll get it dealt with. Whether or not we'll ever get it any more figured out than what we have, I don't know. I'm going to go over here and see if I can find the medication that I want to give that little guilt. Yeah, you can come out this way. Come on, dogs. Yeah, I wouldn't have the rats to do the shot. That's why it, it, it wouldn't work for me. See if I can find the medication. Again, sometimes it comes from the pen and the stab the, the thing into the pig. That's yeah, well, I had to give him the a little more of a of a, uh, a little more instruction than what I'm, uh, yeah. yeah, not this one. Yeah, that's it. They're a pretty good bunch. Yeah, that's Tiger. All right, well, I gave this girl her shot. I couldn't find the, the right syringe, but I found a syringe and got uh, three cc's or three milliliters into her. She's got a little bit of a fever. Um, she's still pretty active, uh, but getting close to her, I can hear her breathing is not right. Uh, she's just, just gotten sick, I think. Um, but again, I was just I was just talking to Andre about it. Um, I had no idea that this this uh, little gilt was sick. Consing said nothing, uh, and I can tell that she, that's her that's her morning meal and her noon meal. So Consing had to have known that she didn't eat her breakfast, and she should have known that she was having trouble breathing. And further, she should have said something about it instead of going home to lunch. So we're going to have another conversation with Consing about. Uh, what to do when she sees things that are out of the ordinary. We'll keep you posted on this little gal. This is one of the ones that we've raised here. Uh, a really good looking little gilt. Hate to lose her. And we're going to get her moved out of this pen. We may just put a rope around her and move her outside of this piggery. Uh, tie her under a tree somewhere and go from there. And I'll talk to Marcel about it when Constantine gets back from lunch. Thank you, everyone. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe.